When you get asked what size memory does your computer have, do not say you have 500 gigabyte or one terabyte. That is your disk space. And that's extremely important difference. There's memory and there's disk space. So when somebody is asking you about memory, especially if you're an engineer, you're gonna get the term memory come up all the time. When somebody's talking about memory, they're talking about RAM, okay? It's a temporary memory. Disk space is where you store all your information permanently. All your files go there. Even when you install applications, they go there in your disk space. And usually it's big. It can be 500, it can be 250 also, but I mean, that's really small. It can be 500, it can be terabyte and more but the memory is random access memory it is where applications store information temporarily and that is what's going to make your computer slow or fast that's the most important part where there is a cpu but the memory is extremely important so memory goes by 4 gb 8 gb 16 gb 32 gb and 64 gb anything bigger than that you have a supercomputer well maybe not a super computer but you know a pretty good one so uh, how do you check what you have? It's important to know that, right? So if you're on a Mac, I'm gonna show you both on a Mac and Windows. All you gotta do is click on the little uh, Apple icon about this Mac and it should be right there. It says memory, I have 32 GB. It's a decent one, it's actually a really good one, right? So memory 32. So if you're buying a laptop in this day, 2025, you don't wanna buy anything less than 16, especially if you plan to learn how to code, you're gonna learn things like, Do you're gonna run things like Docker and like all those tools and a bunch of tools at the same time you definitely do not want anything less than 16. Your computer is gonna be super slow. If you can, do 32, but 16, you're, you're gonna be okay. As, as the memory goes up, the price of the laptop goes up. But when you're shopping for a laptop, make sure you pay attention to that. And on Windows, uh, just search for system information, and you get a lot of information there, including the processor, and there is a RAM, the installed physical memory, and this particular one, this is the one behind me, it is 16 GB. So 16 GB is decent. Most laptops these days are 16 GB. If you can go higher, go higher, but definitely do not go lower. If you're just gonna use social media on your laptop, yeah, 8 GB is fine. But as soon as you start to run multiple applications, you have Chrome, Safari, Firefox, a bunch of things running at the same time, your computer starts to be really slow. So uh, don't sound dumb. When somebody asks you, what's the memory? Don't say 500 GB. That is a hard disk, okay? So you have to know the difference between memory, which means RAM, and hard disk or storage, which means hard disk. All right, so my name is Armas Kung Fu. I create content related to QA automation, programming, and I'm getting into AI now, so make sure you give me a follow. All I do is educational uh, stuff. I'm not gonna dance, I promise that.